So we're back with Belinda today, and if you've watched the previous videos that I've done with her, we did a little cheek restoration, we softened around the mouth, and we also built in some really good cheekbones and posterior jawline. So that has really made a difference on our number one concern, which was the jowls. But today we're gonna do the final little step. We're gonna take some Restylane Refine. We're gonna soften the little nasal labial folds with a light weighted filler, just to kind of blend that in. Take a little Restylane Refine and we're gonna soften the nasal labial fold. And uh, the area has been prepped, numbed, and go ahead, if you want, you wanna keep your eyes open or close. <laughs> close them up. Okay, go ahead and relax. And first poke. So all we wanna do here is just soften this transition here, just like we did for the lower part of the mouth. This is trickier than people realize because what we don't wanna do is make the face look flat by doing this treatment. And we don't want to do even worse than that and make the mouth jet out. So it's just to soften this transition. Nasal labial folds are natural to the human face. So if you put in too much filler or if you use a filler that's too weighted, you'll lose the definition of your cheeks and this becoming very flat or worst case, again, that, that would be pushed out. So and here's a little poke. Softening this. Restylane Refine, this product I'm using today, is really good to do just this job because it's very lightweight. It's got some flexibility to it. I'm a little bit right there. Already I can see that there's, that's looking good. We don't need a ton of product. Here's a poke. And this is as high up as I'm going to go with this. Soften that. I feel like from our previous video, you do have a little bit more right there. So because I still have a little bit in this half the syringe, I'm going to put one little poke right here just to pop this out a little bit more. Fillers take three to four weeks to yield final results. So we will bring Belinda back in a few weeks and then get her final results on video. Yeah, that looks really good, okay? And this was the more dominant nasal labial fold, so you can see that already looks real soft and nice, okay? I like that, okay? Easy as that, now I'm gonna go on that side. But these wrestling parts, very versatile. I use a lot of them. Um, So on this side, a little bit of a hole. Here's a poke. Good. Just softening this, this transition here. Results uh, with using this around the mouth, eight or nine months, uh, the mouth gets a lot of wear and tear as we talk and chew. You know, we're pursing our lips, the, the smiling, the frowning. So a lot of wear and tear for around the mouth. So it also, that movement of the muscles around the mouth will actually break down the filler a little bit quicker versus like under the eyes or in the cheeks. But she'd have to repeat this in about nine months. But it's not too bad. We do a little bit more right here. And then for the other steps that we did for cheek, cheekbones, along the jawline, about once a year, but as she progresses with continued treatments of this, um, results tend to last a little bit longer on the, the repeat treatment. So the investment, one more poke. The big investment is kind of the first year, and then it'll build upon the results and longevity will get longer. And Belinda's little makeover here to soften up, pull all everything together that we've done. And then we'll see you back in a few weeks to get the final video. Voila!